Right guys, I'm gonna do a little fire up um, video. It's also gonna be a, uh, a seasoning burn off video as well, because this is a, a brand new 20 inch um, Cactus Jack Longhorn. So what I've got in here is a couple of starters just unwound at the moment. Um, this is probably the easiest way to start it with minimal amount of equipment. Um, so yeah, fire starters just unwound, ready to build a fire on top of. I've also got a lot of uh, this kind of thing. Um, kindlings gonna be needed. You can get that from pretty much anywhere. And then I've got my logs sorted out into thin bits up to the fatter bits here. So I'll, I'll build a fire and show you um, how we get this thing going. As you can see here, I like to put the, um, the fatter logs on the bottom and then the thinner logs can go up on top because as they burn down, um, they will actually drop through the through the stack and create some nice embers. Um, so we'll just create, create, we'll create this, um, this log cabin effect and also stuff some kindling down the middle That's as well. That's all I would start with um, for an initial burn off on one of these because we want to take it up to temp slow and keep it there for a bit. But we will add logs pretty quickly to keep a really nice strong fire going. I'll get it lighted and you can see quite quickly how this, how quick this takes. So now that's lighted and going, we'll leave all of those fire doors open. We'll shut the cook, ch cook chamber door, um, but we'll leave the chimney stack fully open and uh, that will uh, come up to temp nicely. And you can just see how quick this, um, this dry oak takes. You really need to be only burning hardwood in these. Well, you actually have to burn only hardwood because softwoods can be poisonous. Um, we ship, obviously, seasoned oak wood. We can supply you with seasoned oak wood and uh, that's what we like to use. Oak burns sort of way hotter than, than most. But we'll get this going. We'll take you through a few um, hours of uh, refueling the fire and uh, see how we get on. If you start to see the, um, the flames die down, just keep moving that pile about so it's nice and tight um, and just keep chucking all your, all your odds and ends, your scraps that <clears throat> um, you don't want to use later on in the cook. Um, and that will just help keep this, this fire building. So you really want to keep the pressure up on this. We've got a big unit to heat here and you really want to keep those flames coming. Now we've got flames, I mean, we could start cooking straight away now. It's been about 15 minutes and we're already up to, we're in the smoking section there, we're up to about 150 Fahrenheit. So like I say, don't be scared to keep putting wood on this. It needs to, uh, you're gonna need a thick coal bed to even start to think about dropping that door down. Another thing you can consider is um, keeping all the uh, all the oak wood just for cooking and using that um, when you want to actually start putting your food on and you just buy some cheap hardwood for getting your uh, your uh, coals going at the start. So as you can see now, I've just pushed the log pile over so it's a bit closer to the, uh, the opening of the cook chamber. Um, with all the doors and everything open, we are running now dead on 225. So really nice clean smoke coming out the top. Um, draws really good on it at the moment. And to be honest, you just run it like that. You don't need to shut it all down and, and uh, and get all technical with it just as long as you've got fire and these things draw um so hard with this new chimney stack you can you can sit this there all day at 225 and if you want to speed up the cook once you've wrapped everything um shut the lid down and do that but to be honest this is the easiest way to run a fire just chuck logs on this i mean the, there's so many logs on here this will probably last 45 minutes or an hour before you need to do your next refuel and the other thing is, is you haven't got to worry about a dirty fire because a lot of the light, um, dirty smoke is going to go out the top of this lid, and uh, clean smoke you're going to find is going to go through the uh, through the chimney and through the cook chamber. So we're about half an hour in now. Um, even though we've got some good embers building, we haven't got many flames, so I'm going to keep loading on some more logs just to maintain this. But yeah, it's still sitting around 225, so that's that's pretty good. So after a couple of hours, if you did want to move to a, a fire door down sort of um, configuration, you can do. As you can see in here now, we've got a really good coal bed to keep um, keep a couple of logs alight. Like I say, you still want to always see fire and you want to be putting on at least two logs at a time. Um, and this fire door is normally a good idea to keep that wide open. You will see it's maybe spike a touch. It might go to 320, but it will settle in once those locks have uh, burnt for a few minutes. 
but yeah, if you want to throttle it even further, you could close that rear door. But I tend to not go quite that far because you do risk choking the fire out and making the smoke quite dirty. So um, just to summarize, that's pretty much how you can run these smokers. I mean, they run extremely easy. Offset smoking shouldn't be hard if you've got the right equipment. It's things like this that hold the heat like they do means that you're not going to need to do too many log top ups each time and with the extended chimney stack that we've um, had fitted to these I'm really pleased with how these run it was it just needed a little bit more pull before anyone with the old cactus tracks we can get you the upgraded chimney but they pull really nice now you can close close them all down and throttle them with the damper at the back if you want or you can run it all wide open it really is that easy and uh, yeah, we'll have some more videos. There'll be better quality coming, but this is just some uh, quick ones to help uh, people buying them now get started and get going.